This is a very small Game of Thrones news update because there just isn't a lot of news right now, but I try to do these every week. So here we are. Spoilers in this video, duh. And I'll announce the winner from last news video at the end of this video. So let's start with my favorite location, the Capitol. We have even more pictures showing the destruction at King's Landing. In previous pictures, we saw the dome intact, but more recent photos taken by a red priestess show it burned out and destroyed. Which, let's not even beat around the bush anymore about the possibilities. This is clearly the work of a dragon or dragons. What makes that even more obvious, besides it being painfully obvious, is the dragon spine built for the King's Landing set or at least right next to it. A dragon will be flying around King's Landing, destroying and burning people alive, and will land in the city for an epic dismount by the Night King, Danny, John, or maybe all three. I'm curious to see why the dismount happens. Maybe a dragon being shot down or dying, the individual getting off because the job is done or mostly done, or perhaps for some type of meeting. Also, because I'm so impressed with the King's Landing set they built, I just want to show you a picture taken of it in all its glory. For Star Wars fans, George Lucas visited not only the Solo set, but also the set in Belfast for Game of Thrones. I don't know if anyone else fanboyed, but I know I would fanboy hard if George showed up anywhere, like, within five feet of me. Next, Gilly's actress doesn't think they've filmed multiple endings for Game of Thrones like that persistent rumor we've been hearing for the past year. She stated, So I only just heard about that for the first time. Just today. I don't... I was not under the impression that there were multiple endings. But I could be wrong, and I could be fooled, and I could have had a completely incorrect idea of how this season ends. Of course, if they filmed alternate endings, maybe she doesn't actually know about it, or maybe her character just isn't in any of them or they didn't want to film any alternate endings for her character. So she could very well be in the dark about them if she's not lying. We do know she's done with filming though, just like we know Joe Dempsey, Gendry's actor, is also done with filming, which is why he was able to attend Con of Thrones. And at Con of Thrones, he told Watchers on the Wall that Gendry might be getting a little dangerous. As the years go on, his potential significance has become more and more apparent. And potential is an important word. There's a lot of elements of his character and his parentage that makes him potentially powerful or dangerous. And he's constantly learning more about himself. It's almost impossible to know where he's going to go now, based on both his political clout, even if he learns who he is, and his personality. Probably just a tease, but I would be interested to see the route Gendry takes and if he starts to embrace more of who his father was and maybe he gets something out of it. Perhaps the Stormlands. I just can't see him trying to take the Iron Throne though. Maybe if Danny went crazy, but still, I just don't feel like it's in show Gendry's nature to do that. I, I really don't feel like it's in book Gendry's character either, but... You know, there's a few more books to go with that, so I guess things could change. Lastly, Jason Momoa, our Drogo, was cited in Belfast with showrunners D&D, but that means pretty much nothing besides he's in the area like he has been in the past. My secret hope is we get to see some Danny freaking out and having visions that include her dead love. Or Danny dying in the final season, and when she dies, Drogo comes to her holding her also dead child and they walk off into the afterlife. Which leads us to wonder if it actually happened or just the hallucination of a dying woman. All right, so let's end on giveaway. Winner from last news video's giveaway where I asked you which Game of Thrones a Song of Ice and Fire character would you most want to go on a date with was Emily May who said, Pod, so I can finally find out what he did to those whores. I actually want to know too, Emily. So after he takes you to Pound Town, make sure you share all his secrets with me. Make sure you contact me in the about section of my channel with the email address that you want the gift card sent to. Okay, so that was your very tiny Game of Thrones news update. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and come back for more videos.